Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When the time comes to pay your sales tax, you must use the pay sales tax window to write a check to your tax agency or agencies. You open the pay sales tax window by selecting vendors from the menu bar, rolling down to sales tax, and then choosing pay sales tax. In the pay sales tax window, Use the Pay From Account dropdown to select the bank account to use for the sales tax payments. Then enter the date to print on the payment checks into the check date field. You can use the Show Sales Tax Due Through Calendar selector to choose the date through which you need to pay the sales taxes collected. If this check is to be printed, then check the To Be Printed checkbox at the bottom of this window. Otherwise, you can uncheck the box and enter the starting number of the check issued into the Starting Check Number field. The list of taxing agencies to whom you owe sales tax will be displayed within the Pay Sales Tax window. You can select the agencies to pay by simply clicking into the Pay column to the left of the agencies that you need to pay. Once you have your selections made, click the OK button to have QuickBooks automatically create the tax payment checks. QuickBooks also updates your sales tax report and sales tax payable register to show your payment. Note that you must pay your sales tax using this method in order for QuickBooks to accurately update the sales tax information for each taxing authority. Do not simply write a normal check for the amount due and attribute it to the sales tax payable account. This will disrupt the way in which QuickBooks tracks the individual amounts collected and paid to each sales tax authority. Another point worth noting is that if you need to adjust the amount of sales tax due to an authority shown within the Pay Sales Tax window, you can select the Sales Tax Entry to Adjust from within this window and then click the Adjust button to open the Sales Tax Adjustment window. Here you can enter a date for the adjustment into the Adjustment Date field. You can then enter a number for the adjustment and under the Entry Number field. You then select the Sales Tax Authority whose amounts you need to adjust by choosing that name from the Sales Tax Vendor dropdown. You can then select the account used to track the adjustment from the Adjustment Account dropdown. Then in the Adjustment section, select either the Increase Sales Tax by or reduce sales tax by option buttons as appropriate, and then enter the amount of the adjustment into the amount field. To then add this adjustment to the pay sales tax window so that you can select it for payment along with your original entry for the authority, just click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.